Eight Diabetic Emergencies You Should Never Ignore Hello! Did you know that diabetics are at a higher risk of certain medical emergencies than the general population? That's why it's crucial if you have diabetes or prediabetes to recognize the signs and symptoms of these eight emergencies to act quickly and prevent something more serious. So much so that four out of ten Americans with diabetes don't even know they have it. Furthermore, in the United States, there are approximately 88 million pre-diabetics. And of those, about 25% will develop diabetes within five years if they don't take care of themselves and change their lifestyle. In this video, I will discuss the most dangerous signs and symptoms in diabetics or pre-diabetics, focusing on the eight medical emergencies related to diabetes. Knowing these could help you respond promptly, which could save lives. Let's go. 8 Diabetic Emergencies You Should Never Ignore What are the 8 medical emergencies associated with diabetes or prediabetes that you should be aware of? The last three are the most important, so stay until the end. 8th Diabetic Urgency – Retinal Detachment But is retinal detachment an emergency? Yes, because the person risks losing their vision permanently. Retinal detachment is the separation of the retina a layer of tissue that lines the eye and is sensitive to light from the cells behind it. And what is the connection between diabetes and retinal detachment? When glucose is out of control, the retina receives less blood and nutrition because high glucose levels damage the small blood vessels within the retina. And what will happen? More blood vessels will begin to form and they can bleed and form scars. As the scar tissue contracts, it can cause retinal detachment. Diabetic retinopathy is one of the leading causes of blindness in the world. And it's not just people who have had diabetes for a long time who can have retinal bleeding. Even gestational diabetes can increase the risk. Therefore, it's ideal for diabetics and pre-diabetics to always consult an ophthalmologist to avoid any surprises. What are the symptoms of retinal detachment? Blurred vision, a shadow in the vision that can be in the center or even on the periphery depending on the affected area of the retina, flashes of light, floaters which are the sensation of insects flying in your vision. Of course, any of these symptoms require a trip to the emergency room. Seventh diabetic emergency, severe hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia occurs when your blood sugar levels are very low, usually below 70 milliliter DL. And look how important this is. Hypoglycemia fries your neurons. Without treatment, it can lead to seizures and even death. It is a medical emergency. What are the symptoms of hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia can leave the patient confused, dizzy, nauseous, more aggressive, with generalized sweating, trembling, fast heartbeats, tingling in the mouth, headache, seizures, and even coma. And how to treat it? If the person is conscious, give them a sweet juice to drink, a candy to chew, or a chocolate. If they can't eat, you can put some honey or syrup inside their cheek. But if they are unconscious, do not put anything in their mouth because they might aspirate it. Take them to the hospital immediately. Recently, I treated a patient who I was sure was having a stroke. Slurred speech, a crooked mouth, weakness on one side. I was almost taking him for a CT scan when we did a capillary glucose test, and it was 32 memordial. We quickly corrected the hypoglycemia, and all symptoms disappeared like magic. So, it's easy to correct hypoglycemia as long as the person recognizes the symptoms. Sixth diabetic emergency, stroke. People with diabetes are 1.5 times more likely to have a stroke than people without diabetes. According to the AHA, 16% of diabetics over 65 die from a stroke. What are the symptoms of a stroke? Numbness or weakness on one side of the face or body, headache, difficulty with coordination, balance or walking, mental confusion, vision problems, speech problems, crooked mouth. And if it's not hypoglycemia, because the first thing to check is always the person's glucose. If it's normal or high, it's probably a stroke. Thinking about a stroke, remember the word SAMU, S for smile. Ask the person to smile and look at their mouth. Is the mouth crooked? Is one side not smiling, or does half of the face drop? Something is wrong. A is for hug. Ask the person to give you a hug or raise both arms. Is one of them weak? Can't they lift it? M is for music. Ask the person to sing a song or repeat a simple phrase. 
Is the speech slurred or strange? U is for urgency. Time is brain. Every minute that passes destroys neurons. So, get a car, call a taxi, request an Uber, or call SAMU immediately to get to the hospital emergency room as quickly as infections. possible. Sepsis. Diabetes affects the immune system, increasing the risk of an infection. And an infection can complicate more easily, becoming potentially fatal. Common infections in diabetes are urinary infections that can spread to the kidneys, gum disease, ear infections, respiratory infections including pneumonia, digestive infections like diarrhea, even skin infections. Any little infection can spread to deeper tissues, leading to sepsis, a generalized and potentially fatal infection. And here I must talk about diabetic foot, a common cause of amputation. What is diabetic foot? Diabetes destroys nerves, impairs tissue healing, worsens blood circulation, and weakens the immune system. All of this together creates the perfect storm. In diabetic foot, any minor injury can lead to serious complications like ulcers, culminating in partial or total amputation of the affected limb. Therefore, diabetics must take great care of their feet. Nails should be well-trimmed, comfortable shoes that don't squeeze should be worn, and they should always inspect their feet regularly for fungal infections or small injuries and wounds. Returning to the signs and symptoms of sepsis, what should we be on the lookout for? Remember the word time, T, for temperature. It can be either higher, fever, above 37.8 degrees Celsius or lower, hypothermia, below 35 degrees Celsius, I, infection, if there are wounds, pus, redness, pain, and swelling in any part of the body. It can even be dental, or as we saw, in the foot, or even if you had recent surgery. M. Mental decline. The person can become sleepy, confused, sluggish, wanting to sleep more, and feeling down. E. Exam. Low blood pressure, systolic below 10, high heart rate, above 100 beats per minute, and breathing too much, more than 20 times per minute. These are signs of a more severe infection. This person should be taken immediately to the hospital to be treated correctly. Fourth emergency, loss of kidney function. Diabetes is the leading cause of end-stage kidney disease worldwide. In the United States, one in three diabetics has some degree of kidney damage from diabetes. See how important this is. Over time, excess sugar in the blood damages the filtering system of your kidneys. Therefore, if you have diabetes, you should keep glucose under control, avoid anti-inflammatory drugs and urinary infections, avoid iodine contrast, and anything that can damage your kidneys. If you don't care, your kidneys can start to have problems and progress to end-stage renal disease, where the options are dialysis or a kidney transplant. What are the symptoms of kidney failure you should be aware of? 1. Change in urine, foamy urine, indicating protein in the urine. You may start urinating too much or too little. 2. You may have muscle spasms and cramps. 3. Swelling in the feet, ankles and legs, but also face and around the eyes, becomes puffy. 4. Your blood pressure goes out of control. 5. Nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite. 6. Fatigue, weakness and insomnia. All because toxins build up in your body. 7. Dry and itchy skin. Now let's move on to the top three diabetes emergencies. Third diabetes-related emergency, heart attack. Did you know that people with diabetes are two times more likely to have a heart attack than the general population? And cardiovascular diseases are responsible for 80% of deaths in diabetic patients? Why? With high blood sugar, cholesterol becomes more aggressive, small and dense, forming plaques more quickly in the coronary arteries. Moreover, the arteries become narrow and diseased, and diabetics have a higher risk of clots and thrombosis. And pay attention! Heart attack symptoms in diabetics can be different from those without diabetes, not having those classic chest pain symptoms like tightness radiating to the left arm. Because diabetes affects the nerves, making diabetics feel less pain. Often, a diabetic's heart attack is silent or even masked. Stomach pain, sudden shortness of breath, sweating, dizziness. If you are feeling unwell, with unexplained shortness of breath, cold sweating without hypoglycemia, a stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, or even fainted, seek emergency care quickly to ensure you are not having a heart attack. 
Second, diabetic emergency. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis is more common in type 1 diabetes, where the pancreas cannot produce insulin. It is very dangerous and can lead to death. Ketoacidosis is an acute complication that occurs quickly, within a few hours or days, and is associated with stressful conditions, such as a child or young adult preparing for an exam or catching an infection. The lack of insulin and the increase in glucose lead to the accumulation of ketones. I have seen many cases where children who did not know they had diabetes presented with ketoacidosis. What are the symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis? Stomach pain, sometimes so intense that the doctor might think of appendicitis, severe nausea, vomiting. The child becomes dehydrated, extremely weak, unable to eat, has shortness of breath, and rapid breathing. A characteristic sign is the fruity or rotten apple breath, the ketone breath. And of course, this person can become confused, irritable, and faint. Ketoacidosis is an emergency. Take the person to the hospital as soon as possible. Don't wait. You can't treat it with home remedies. You need to go to the hospital. First diabetic emergency, hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state, hyperosmolar coma. Also due to very high glucose levels. But unlike diabetic ketoacidosis, it affects older patients, generally over 40 years old, and progresses slowly, several days. It can also be due to an infection or stress, but it is very common for people to stop taking their diabetes medication because they ran out of money, forgot to pick it up, or thought they were cured. Some medications, such as corticosteroids and even diuretics, can worsen the hyperosmolar state. What are the symptoms? Extreme dehydration and mental confusion. Sometimes the glucose level is very, very high. I have seen patients with levels over 800 mg DL. How to treat it? They also need to go to the hospital as soon as possible. There they will be hydrated with IV fluids, receive IV insulin, and be hospitalized until their glucose returns to normal. Important if you have diabetes or prediabetes. Diabetes is the ninth leading cause of death in the world and the world is becoming increasingly diabetic. In the last two, three years, there has been an increase of over 70 million new diabetics, mainly due to the pandemic, stress, lack of physical activity, poor diet, and obesity. Today, there are over 530 million adults with diabetes in the world, compared to 108 million in 1980. We need to change these numbers through information, share this video with others, it's important to recognize diabetic emergencies, but also through changes in our attitude, improving habits and lifestyle. If you find out you have prediabetes, make better food choices, get moving, don't stay idle. And if you have type 2 diabetes, treat it properly, listen to your doctor, and take care of yourself. Do your part and try to help others. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. See you in the next video.